name is Duncan Bohr. Um, I live in Abruzzo in Italy and this short video is the start of my story to trace the Second World War escape route of a POW prisoner of war called Donald Jones. Donald wrote a book which was published in 1980 called Escape from Sulmona. That's the book and on the back there's his picture. Um, I found out about this book through going to a lunch in November last year at the Monte San Martino Trust which um, is a charitable organisation set up to try and raise money to give short English courses to Italians, uh, mainly descendants or, or close friends of people who helped POWs escaping from Italy during the Second World War. Donald's story is about his capture out in North Africa, um, about his transfer, not so much about his transfer to Italy, but he's locked up in a prison camp in just outside Sulmona in Abruzzo um, at a place called Font del Mori. And when the Italians capitulate on the 15th of September 1943, he escapes from the camp and he crosses one mountain range called the Morone, across a valley, up onto a mountain range called the Maella, and then he has to do a double circuit back and up onto the mountain range called Grand Sasso. And he's actually on the run for a total of about six months in the end. And he has to endure harsh winter conditions, um, live by his wits. He's being chased by, hounded by members of the German army who are trying to round up all the escaped prisoners of war that have also escaped from the camp and there were about 2,000 in all and this is just one of the camps, there were many other camps as well um, so what I'm hoping to do over the next few weeks is compress his experiences into a journey which I can follow um, over, the, over the main mountain ranges from his start point, from the escape from the prison camp all the way to his crossing to the Allied lines just south of Campo di Giove towards the Adriatic some six months later. Now you have to bear in mind that when Donald escaped he had no equipment with him, he had some food, but just other than that, basically the clothes he lived in. Over the next few days I'm going to be climbing to an altitude of 2,700 metres. Um, there's still a lot of snow up on the higher mountains. So I've got a lot of equipment here which I'm going to be using which he never had access to. Um, snowshoes, a snow shovel, an avalanche transceiver which is a device that enables someone to hopefully track you and find you if you do get avalanched, hopefully that won't happen. Um, and I'm going to be carrying a lot of other equipment, tent, food, sleeping bag and all the other stuff that is necessary to operate comfortably in the mountains. Um, so I'm not going to be experiencing any of the problems that Donald had in that respect. Um, my my biggest danger, biggest sort of problem is going to be the weather if it if it turns nasty. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to pack my rucksack and we'll set off.